Hi there and welcome to the Met Office weekend weather forecast. Significant changes are on the way for the UK's weather over the weekend as the high pressure that has kept things relatively benign for some time begins to move to the west. As that happens, the weather over the weekend turns more changeable, more unsettled. But at the same time, this cold front introduces colder air. Initially, just to northern parts of the UK and the temperature contrast between the cold air in the far north and the milder air further south will lead to an intense band of rain moving through Scotland on Friday evening. So expect some heavy rain for a short time and some gusty winds as that front sinks south. 10pm there for Glasgow and Edinburgh pushing into Belfast around midnight. That front is sinking south though and ahead of it we keep the same old weather pattern. Relatively benign conditions, variable amounts of cloud across much of southern and central England and Wales. Some cloud breaks leading to a few fog and frost pockets first thing Saturday but otherwise a lot of cloud and some drizzle here and there. Brighter skies behind the weather front across Cumbria into parts of Northumberland as well as Scotland and Northern Ireland first thing Saturday but you'll notice a change in the temperature, it's going to start to feel much colder as these winds arrive from the north northwest. They'll also carry frequent showers, which will be falling as sleet and snow over northern Scotland, particularly for Shetland, where there could be some settling of the wet snow above a couple of hundred metres. Meanwhile, it stays relatively mild further south, albeit very cloudy and some outbreaks of rain sinking into central parts as this front moves south. The front moves south, the colder air begins to spread south, but it's briefly interrupted on Sunday by this weather system sliding in from the Atlantic and containing milder air once again, but also some outbreaks of rain. Those outbreaks of rain are likely to push into Northern Ireland first thing, as well as parts of southwest Scotland. Eventually, that showery rain turning up across Wales and western and northern England. To the south, east and north of that, we're going to see some brighter weather and northern Scotland still subject to some frequent sleet and snow showers, still feeling very cold here, whilst further south it's relatively mild and we're likely to see some rain later in the day for southern areas, but throughout much of the afternoon it's bright spells and one or two showers. Now these outbreaks of rain across central parts will be heavy and persistent at times. There's an element of uncertainty still with this system about how much the area of low pressure it's associated with deepens. Most likely this is the kinds of weather we can expect on Sunday but there's a smaller chance, around 15% chance, that a deeper more developed low crosses the country and that would of course lead to more widespread heavy rain and some very strong winds. So something that we're still keeping an eye on as we go through the next couple of days. Nevertheless, it's northern Scotland where we're likely to see the wintry weather continuing on Sunday, perhaps some hill snow for the Pennines as this system moves away. And it will move away so that at the start of next week, we see colder northerly winds sweep south across most of the UK. But once again, later Monday, we've got one of these weather systems in the mix arriving from the Atlantic and again containing milder air and outbreaks of rain. And this is another one of the situations where there's some uncertainty about the development of an area of low pressure arriving from the Atlantic and the exact track. Now, at the moment, the most likely scenario is that it will bring some outbreaks of rain and perhaps sleet or hill snow to southern parts of the UK as a relatively shallow area of low pressure, whilst the northern two-thirds of the UK sees bright spells, cold winds and also some sleet and snow showers primarily affecting coastal parts. But there are other scenarios, one in which there's no low pressure at all and another in which there's a very well developed area of low pressure that moves in further north across the UK and brings widespread heavy rain in the south and some persistent snow further north with the risk of blizzards over hills and some very strong winds. So of course that would be the most impactful scenario and something we're keeping a close eye on as we go through the next few days. But like I say, this is the most likely setup and hopefully we'll have a bit more detail on what you can expect into the start of next week as this wintry weather continues in our Weather Studio Live, which you can catch live on Friday at 12.15 or you can watch on Catch Up via the Met Office YouTube channel. If you subscribe, you'll never miss an update. Bye-bye.